you might be improving your property, but if you don't baseline it, you can't measure those improvements. If you don't get those baselines right, any improvements that will be lost really because you can't measure them because you didn't baseline. David and Elizabeth Hill, we're from Clarkwood at Clark Creek. We run a breeding and fattening operation, hoping to run around 400 breeders this year. We've both got a really high expectation for MSA and eating quality, so that's our main focus. They say in a beef business you need 80% compliance to your market with 80% conception and that type of thing. Well, we set a bit of a higher benchmark for that. Mine target's always been over 95% compliance to MSA and more than 90% conception. To improve your herd you need to put pressure on them and the great way to do that is to collect data. The main reason we did it was to reduce the size of the cow so that she's easier to maintain in the not so great year. They're more likely to go back and calf, they're going to be better going forward. The challenge for the livestock industry obviously is enteric methane emissions. The drive is to reduce the amount of emissions through use of uh, legumes and more efficient animals. That's probably the easiest way I see for people to have a more efficient herd. The carbon calculator, you take in the emissions and measure the performance of your animals, allow us to establish the baseline and where the industry is in regards to CN30. That's probably the the largest commitment this industry's made. I've been one that's been a big supporter of having something that's a baseline to allow people to get an understanding of where they are with the commitment. So then what you do with it is up to yourself. We need the information now, we need the data, we need the baseline so that we can say, look, this is the true story. This is where we're at. This is how much we've improved. This is actually what's happening and people will feel good about eating red meat. For our social licence to produce animals, you're going to have to have that information. If you don't start now, then we're going to be behind the eight ball. And, you know, we just need that information, we need the baselines. To be able to say to a consumer, well, you know, there's another reason other than all the other ones that you have to um, buy Australian red meat.